Two people in a 25 miles per hour zone merge into a 45 miles per hour zone. The second person isn't visible, but blows horn at me. How dare I follow the rules of the road, instead of whatever is in their recklessly bullying head. Here someone raced up to get in front of me because no one else was behind me. Further down the road, the same person turned right from the left lane in front of me. It is necessary for the self-entitled to inconvenience others for their convenience, even if it may cause harm or death. self-entitled or a brain fart. After all, we are human. This is a great example of how little the self-entitled think of other people's life. The person behind me is blowing his horn. There is no sound in this clip. The siren alerted me to look for the emergency vehicle to the self-entitled. A siren from an emergency vehicle is irrelevant to everyone except the operator of the emergency vehicle. Passing in the right lane is more dangerous than passing in the left lane. Of course, to the self-entitled, that may be more convenient for them. Why the self-entitled do this when the left lane is open is beyond stupid. In this clip, we are approaching rain and Beyond Stupid almost loses it. Yet, Beyond Stupid continues to exceed the speed limit of 70 miles per hour. An insurance company considers no one is liable for hydroplaning. Nothing like stupid helping out stupid. In this clip, everyone can see emergency vehicles with emergency lights on and stopped on the interstate ahead. Everyone in the second lane is traveling at about 50 in a 65, leaving the first lane open for first responders. To a self-entitled person, this opened first lane is only an invitation to travel at any speed in it. The rear view follows. Where you can see self-entitled is not happy I move to the first lane. His arm is doing the cocoa out the window. It was as if this guy was trying to pick a fight. I didn't recognize him. Maybe he did me. Most likely exceeding 100 miles per hour on the interstate. Here Mr. Self-Entitled nearly hit me in his idea of safely running a red light. Cut to further down the road. At least Mr. Self-Entitled stopped for the red light, but still uses the left turn only lane to go straight. Cut to end. Mr. Self-Entitled is the center bright white car turning right. Was it really worth it?
with a walking stick for the blind. This guy crosses against the traffic lights. What charges should he face? For this clip, there is a query. Which vehicle is liable? Vehicle number one on the left of screen or vehicle number two on the right of screen? The clip is of low quality, but it saved the innocent one from falsehoods. Because three independent witnesses reported and willing to swear in court a false testimony. Three, two, one. Possible two witnesses are in the two pickup trucks that followed up from vehicle number one. If these are two of three witnesses, they simply lied. They may have thought it could be true, but obviously didn't know the truth. Heard a young female claim to be a witness. Saw a middle-aged man in a luxury car handing police his written statement. The three statement were false. Police never spoke with the person in vehicle number two. Just handed that person a citation to sign. 